What's going on YouTube? Today we're talking about Yadigarasu and its impact on Yu-Gi-Oh! in terms of gameplay and future card design. I don't think anyone expected a little bird to affect Yu-Gi-Oh! this much. Anyways, let's get into this. So, if you don't know the famous Yada lock, here's what you need to know. Post Chaos Emperor, first, your opponent destroyed your entire board with things like Dark Hole, Raigeki, Mirror Force, and Torrential Tribute. Then they cleared away your back row with things like Harpy's Feather Duster and Heavy Storm. Next, they ripped your, your best cards with things like Confiscation, Delinquent Duel, and the Forceful Sentry. And finally, they would search Yada with things like Sangan, Witch of the Black Forest, Pot of Greed, or Graceful Charity, Summon Yada, and Attack Directly, and Seal in the Lock. With the majority of your resources gone and you not being able to get any new cards, you already lost the duel. So in short, every game came down to who could pull off the Yada Lock first. Then when Chaos Emperor came out, the play became this. Have Witcher Sangha on the field, then summon Chaos Emperor, use its effect to wipe the entire board and your opponent's hand, search your auto either Sangan or Witch's effect, summon it, attack directly, and that's it. You won the game. There's literally nothing for your opponent to do. Graveyard effects didn't exist, so really, they could do nothing against this combo. This got out of hand so much that on August 2004, Konami made the first ban list and banned all the cards used in the Yada Lock. And to this day, Yada is the only one from that original list who has never gone unbanned. Well, now that you know the Yada Lock, let's get into my next point. How it affected card design. Ever since Yada and Time Seal were banned, for 15 years Konami never made another card in Yu-Gi-Oh that skips your opponent's draw phase. Until they made Yoi. A monster that can skip the opponent's draw phase when summoned, but it can only be used once per duel and has to be the only monster summoned, meaning that you can't pendulum summon him. Though, even with that, I don't think Konami's gonna make another card that skips your opponent's draw phase because they don't want another Yada Lock situation. The whole point of the draw phase is to give you a new resource, but if you cut that resource away, then force your opponents to use the current resources they have, and if they keep getting their draw phase skipped, then they're going to they're gonna run out of cards soon and just lose the duel. Ever since Yada, that's something they never want to see again. Though, in my personal opinion, even though Konami won't make any new cards that skip the draw phase, I feel like both Time Seal and Yada can come back. The game has changed so much that pulling these cards effects off is worthless. Plus, when you think about it, Time Seal is basically the worst card on the ban list. Now, you might say, oh, what if I get hand looped and then either Yada or Time Seal me? To that, I say, you already lost to the hand loop. Yada and Time Seal really made no difference. And honestly, you can't break Yada as you could back then, because Yu Gi Oh! doesn't have these generic mass destruction cards like they did back then. And nowadays, cards have protection. Hell, Yoi is actually better than both Yada and Time Seal because you can actually use it turn zero. But hey, that's just my opinion. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more.